There was one moment of my childhood that will stay with me for the rest of my life, almost as a stain on my mind's eye. It all started when I and my family went to Wendy's restaurant. My mother got her paycheck on the first of every month, so for a treat, she took us out for dinner. She suggested, why don't we stop at Wendy's and get some burgers and fries? She also said that if we were really good, we'd each get a large milkshake. So as we pulled into the parking lot to find a parking space so we could go inside and enjoy our meal, I felt a sense of dread fall upon me when I stepped out of the car. It told me I shouldn't be here for some ominous reason, but I went inside anyway. It was just my imagination. So we got in, we ordered our food, and we sat down at our table. Everything was fine. That is, until I noticed that the restaurant had a plastic statue of their mascot, Wendy. The statue was standing in the corner greeting customers as they walked in. She was, as people expected her to be, with her blue checkered dress and her red hair with pigtails and freckles on her face. But something felt wrong as I looked at the statue of Wendy, something that I couldn't describe. So I just stood there staring at it, and you know what? I could have sworn that it moved a little, almost as if it was alive. But it couldn't be. Statues can't move, at least not by themselves, I thought to myself. That was until it went at me. When I noticed this, I started to freak out and tell my mom we needed to leave now. But she didn't listen. She just told me to sit down and finish my meal. Knowing that I couldn't go against my mother, I listened to what she said and sat back down and started to eat. That was until I heard someone scream behind me. When I turned around and what I saw, something that will never unsee for the rest of my life. There was a boy's corpse playing in front of the statue, and in the statue's hand was a knife that wasn't there before. And that's when we all saw that the statue did move, and it did more and more, as it screwed up the young boy's corpse. It then started slicing him open like a deer, and for some reason I couldn't look away from the horror before me. And I couldn't move. As this thing was slicing this boar apart, and then, when it stopped, it slowly turned its head towards me, flashing a horrible, fanged smile, and Statue's eyes were red and murderous, filled with contempt. As it dropped the dead child, it started slowly walking towards me, and yet I still couldn't move, and I knew I was in danger. But something compelled me this day. That is, until my mother jumped in and tried to save me, but she got injured in the process of saving me. The statue lunged at my mother, slicing her arm open with its knife. My mother grabbed me and started to run, but the statue of Wendy did not like this. It then started to scream in this demonic tone while it started to chase us. We tried to get out of the doors, but somehow we couldn't get them open. Somehow this thing knew that we were trying to escape, so it locked the doors. The creature had trapped us, and we thought we were doomed for sure. That is, until my mother started to fight back as she had found one of those axes from the fire emergency and took it off the wall and started smashing at the monster hitting the statue as it made a sickening crunch. When my mother was done, it was almost like she wasn't hitting plastic, but flesh and bone itself. And the creature lashed out in pain. It started to scream that demonic tone one more time. Until one final strike that my mother gave by slicing off the statue's head, and it fell to the ground with a sickening thud, and it was no more. My mother dropped to the ground and turned around and picked me up, then started to hug me. She told me that 
the nightmare was finally over with, and that we could finally go home, but that was short-lived when I saw my mother's face went from a smile to a frown and the life drained from her eyes. The Wendy's statue was not dead. It appeared that it was until my mother let her guard down, and that's when it took its chance to kill her while she was distracted. It was horrifying to watch my mother die while I was in her arms, and I knew I was next. So the statue ripped me from my mother's lifeless arms and stared at me for what seemed like forever. It then opened its mouth with those same sharp fangs that I saw earlier before. It lifted me up over its mouth and then everything went dark. I had woken up in a freak of panic in a hospital with doctors all around me. They told me there was an accident at Wendy's restaurant where my family apparently was. They said that there was a huge toxic gas leak. Many had died and only a few such as me had survived, but I thought to myself that it seemed so real. I told my doctor about this and he said that it was due to the gas and hallucinations were a side effect. But I told the doctor it seemed so real not to happen. He said that this was common with side effects of gas leaks. He also said that your mind will play tricks on you and make you see what you don't want to see. So he ordered me to rest and he told me that he'd be back tomorrow to give me more of an evaluation to see if I was well enough to go home. That night as I rested I had a feeling as I did when I was in the restaurant. As I went to call for the nurse, I looked out my door from the hospital bed and I could have sworn I saw a blue dress followed by red pigtails. <laughs>